I was just sad. Like, it broke my heart to see that someone could have so much hate for two teenage girls. An East Tennessee community is rallying behind two girls after a woman berated them while they painted pride flags across an Alcoa bridge. 10 News reporter Malik Jackson is at that bridge tonight. Malik, they showed their support not once, but twice. Yes, Robin, and they're continuing to show their support. If you look behind me, you can see a crowd has gathered not only to support, but to protect the work of the girls who spray painted a bridge that is known for its community paintings and a place where people can put their feelings into art. And two teens celebrating Pride Month say no matter what happens or how many times, they still believe love is love. My entire life, I had never heard anyone say things like that to me. Carmen McLean and Jasmine Martinez decided to show other LGBTQ youth in their community that they are loved by painting rainbows on an Alcoa bridge. We wanted people to know that they're not alone, you know, because when I was in middle school, I would have loved to see these flags and see all these people supporting us. They say they were there for hours and just finishing up when a Hi. woman showed up with her own spray paint doing? and they started recording. Yeah, the video out. shows her berating them over the art. Y'all aren't even different anymore. Y'all are all the same, trying to stand out. Going on for several minutes. I think you might want to be and whatnot, but you're not going to go express it all over everything. I'm sick <laughs> of hearing all of you. I'm Before racially attacking them, saying they don't belong. You're not going to do it. You don't pay taxes. You're probably immigrant here. <gasps> what? I was just sad. Like, it broke my heart to see that someone could have so much hate for just two teenage girls. But today, the community showed up to repaint and to support Martinez and McLean. To show them that, hey, you guys are absolutely supported. Um, we love you. We want you in our community. As we were interviewing the girls, a truck approached the bridge, stopped, and sprayed over the repainted work. But they say they don't plan on backing down. It didn't stop us. We're not going to stop doing this. People are probably going to paint over this bridge again, and we're going to come back and we're going to paint over it. And we reached out to the woman in the video. She did not get back to us. The two girls, along with many in the community, say they will be back out here Friday to repaint the original message, one of love and one of support. In Blunt County, Malik Jackson. Robin, John? Malik, thank you.